Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to today's video. It's a shop talk video today. So if you're not interested in the goings on at Yarn and Yarns, which um, is slightly confusing because it's my channel name, but it's also my little business that I run. <laughs> If you're not interested in the things that are going on over on the Yarn and Yarns website, then I completely understand. I will be back again soon with some making content, so I hope you will join me for the next video instead. I try to keep all of my shop talk um, sort of condensed into these separate videos so that for those of you who aren't interested, um, you can skip on over them and just tune in for the making content instead. But for those of you who do want to stick around and hear about what's going on at Yarn and Yarns, um, I am very grateful, very thankful for your interest. Um, I've got quite a few things to talk to you about today and I'm going to try and get back in a regular habit of popping these videos up. Um, maybe once a month, maybe once every couple of months, we'll see how it goes. The best way to keep in touch with what's new, what's going on, is the Yarn and Yarns newsletter. If you want to sign up for that, there is a link below the video. However, it's quite nice for me to get in front of the camera and share some of the things that I've got going on on the website because sometimes I think just a sort of flat 2D picture doesn't give the full sort of picture of how lovely um, some of the yarns are, some of the products are. So I've got, yeah, I've got quite a few things to chat to you about. Um, I've got some yarn, I've got some accessories and I've got a couple of new products from the Emma Ball range too. Apologies if the light is very changeable. It's a grey day here in South Wales and the sun keeps coming out between the clouds. We're getting to the very end of the day, so <laughs> the light's quite changeable. Um, but there's not too much I can do about that. <laughs> I hope you'll just bear with me. Let's get stuck in and chat about some of the yarny things that I've got going on over on the website. Um, so I've got a couple of new ranges from Opal to talk to you about, Opal Sock Yarn, which is always my most popular yarn. and. I have a mystery box up on the website at the moment. So let's talk mystery box first. Um, I have put together a Valentine's Day box, which I'm really excited about. And I have been advertising this on social media um, over the last week or so, and I'm down to the last couple of boxes left. If this does sound like something you might be interested in, um, you may wish to hop on over and purchase sooner rather than later. Um, the pre-order for this box does close at the end of the month, which is next Monday in a few days time anyway. Um, but but uh, as I say, there's only a couple left. So it's looking like it might sell out and the listing might close before that date anyway. So in the Valentine's Day box, um, it works along a similar line to my sock boxes, if you have ever purchased those before, um, where I put together a little collection of yarn. And in this case, I have some I have a pattern included in the box and there'll also be some extra goodies and I thought with Valentine's Day coming up I know it's not a holiday that everyone likes to celebrate um, but I thought it might be a nice gift either to yourself if you want to show yourself a little bit of love or maybe for another knitter in your life who you are grateful for who you want to send a little bit of appreciation their way this could be the box for you and so in the box this time there will be five 20 gram mini skeins and the yarn makeup is merino and silk so it's a pretty luxurious yarn there's a couple of different colorways that i'll be putting in the boxes and um, so it's a bit of a mystery as to what color selection you will get um, but alongside the yarn there is also going to be a printout of a cowl pattern um, it's a four ply yarn i don't think i mentioned that um, so a beautiful um, but simple cowl pattern um, which goes with the yarn provided however of course you can again use your yarns however you wish to but this pattern is designed specifically for the yarn in the box there'll also be some extra goodies so i usually pop in a hot drink um, a sweet treat and there are a couple of other little surprises um, in the valentine's day box as well so if that sounds like something that is up your alley then um, i'll have links for all of the things that i mentioned in the description box below if a little bit of mystery is not your thing, if you like to see what you're getting in advance, <laughs> um, then you might be interested in some of the new opal yarns that I have in stock. And I'm trying to wrangle these yarns just below camera. Um, I've got two new lines of opal in stock. And the first is the second collection in the Black Dragon range. And there are six colors in total in this range. 
aren't they absolutely gorgeous i love these and as i said this is the second collection that opal have bought out in the black dragon range and they dye the yarn and then they play it together with a strand of black um, so you get these beautiful sort of mild effects um, with the yarn so let me try and find one of these labels these labels are a little bit dark if i try and hold this up to the camera um, there's always a picture printed on the opal labels of roughly how your yarn will knit up um, so hopefully that gives you um, an idea as i say six colors in the range and they're available on the website now um, i have all colors in stock at the moment i haven't really advertised anywhere that i have these in stock although a few people have already found them <laughs> so unsurprisingly they are proving to be quite popular already and this collection is slightly more colorful i think than the last collection um, from the black dragon range and this one is called black dragon 2 fantasy island <laughs> so uh, yeah some absolutely glorious colorways there are a few um, sort of neutrals um, we've got the grey and then there are two different blues one's got a slightly more purpley blue and the other is a blue grey so this is the blue grey and then this is the more blue purple and then they, we have the ones that have more colour in and these are definitely different to the black dragon range that we had uh, last time so there's this one which is gorgeous um, pinks and turquoises it's a little bit of purple there's an orangey color in there as well and then this one is more a blue and a red ready pink kind of color and then finally um, purple green blue with a bit of that red in as well so they are all beautiful and and i'm sure they'll be snapped up pretty quickly um, i may have to snaffle some of those for myself um, I'm really interested to see how they might weave up mm. um, rather than knit up so yeah I might be stealing some of that stock <laughs> and then the second collection that I have from Opal this one has been out for a few weeks and I know many of you have already purchased some of this yarn it's absolutely glorious it's the Opal Van Gogh collection and this is a reissue this collection was first released 10 years ago way before I was a yarn shop owner <laughs> But I was really excited to see that it was going to be re-released. Re and I have been advertising this one in my newsletter and on social media. So I have sold a fair bit already. Um, I have managed to get all of the colours back in stock again. Um, a couple of them have been super popular and keep selling out. But this will be the last time that I have these yarns in stock. So once they sell now, I won't be um, able to get any more. So if there are any colourways in this collection that you're interested in, then now is the time to grab them. I think the two most popular, well, the three most popular are um, the Starry Night colourway, which is this one. Um, the Cafe Terrace at Night colourway, um, which is another beautiful um, blue-yellow kind of colour. Been followed; those two have been followed closely by the Sunflowers. And I think it's quite understandable why those three, and particular, and particularly um, Sunflowers and Starry Night, have been very popular because I guess they are possibly the most well known of his paintings um, but there are five more beautiful colours um, uh, which have each been relatively popular in their own right although strangely enough my two favourites <laughs> from this whole collection um, well I've, I think I've got three favourites have been on the least popular side which hey just goes to show doesn't it what I like <laughs> versus what everyone else likes um, so here are the rest of the colours in that collection And these are probably my three favourites. <laughs> these are these have also been the least popular, but are <laughs> hey ho, like I said, what do I know? <laughs> Every now and then my supplier sends me a um, machine knitted sock um, which was 
infinitely useful when I had the bricks and mortar shop. Not quite so useful now I don't have that, um, but I do have a machine knitted sock showing how one of the colourways um, works up, which I think is it's always nice to show off because you can see you've got this um, kind of striping effect, but it's not a sort of solid stripe. Um, there are um, sort of thicker stripes, thinner stripes, and the colours fade into each other. And all of the colourways have a sort of similar feel to, to this. Uh, so yes, if you enjoy any of those colours, then now's the time to grab them. If you've already bought some in the collection and you just decided that you enjoy them and want to complete your collection of Van Gogh colourways, then I'd say grab them while you can. I am definitely going to be keeping one ball of each for my yarn collection, which is really naughty because I also have um, the whole range of the Monet colourways, which were, was it last year or the year before? And I still haven't knit any of those. <laughs> But hey, I will one day. <laughs> Saving for retirement, maybe. <laughs> okay, moving on to some accessories now. A couple of things that are always popular that I've managed to restock. Um, I just wanted to let you know they're back in stock for anyone who might have been waiting or is interested. I've got the Nipro Circular Needle Protectors, which I use these on my projects all of the time. Um, it's basically an aluminium tube um, with a rubberized end and you put your two needle tips um, up through the rubberized end and it's just a way of keeping your stitches um, contained on your circular needles and yeah I, I love my sets of these. I'm um, also back in stock um, again um, infinitely useful and I find that I lose my darning needles so much less now that I have these. Um, I've got the Clover um, darning needle sets which come with the storage tubes um, not super easy to show through the plastic um, but you get a set of three different needles in here of um, different sizes with different eye sort of sizes as well for different thicknesses of yarn and the plastic tube to store them in and I keep my needles um, and some extras in my um, tube and as I say I end up losing my darning needles a lot less now that I have um, one of these. Um, as well as the straight needle tips I also have and this is for the first time um, I know a few people prefer the um, curved tips the bent tips um, so I have this version with the bent tip needles now as well. Again a little tricky to show um, on the camera through the plastic but I'm sure you've seen those before. And then one more accessory um, from my sort of knit pro and clover ranges um, this is brand new in and i have again chatted about this on the newsletter um, i have some folding scissors from knit pro um, and they're these beautiful um, rose gold scissors and they come in this lovely little floral pouch um, which zips up and then inside you get these um, beautiful folding scissors so when you want to use them so they're um the blades are all tucked away so they're nice and safe um great for travel or just for popping in your project bag and you know that you're not going to accidentally snip anything and um, when you're ready to use them you just pull them out they're a little bit stiff the first couple of times that you use them um, and then they're ready to use and then once you've finished you just push them back in again and oops, slide them in there we go So I've got a few pairs of those left um, on the website too um, and I think they make nice little gifts um, as well as a gift for yourself. They could be a nice little gift for um, the knitter, the crafter in your life. And then um, just briefly before I wrap things up here, um, I've got a few new bits and pieces from the Emma Ball range which is always really popular. Um, Emma Ball or the company is based in Nottinghamshire in England. Um, they have lots of fabulous products um, with beautifully cute illustrations on them. First up in the Emma Ball range I have taken a little bit of a punt <laughs> and I've brought in some of the new washi tape range because um, obviously it's not directly knitting related but I have had the um, notebooks and the note cards and some of the stickers before and they've all so far all been um, sort of greeted warmly so I thought it would be fun to add a couple of the washi tapes and see how they go. There are many more washi tapes in the Emma Ball collection so I might extend the range should these prove to be popular. And I know many of you are like me, you like to keep journal of some kind, it might just be your knitting journal um, or it might be your um, sort of life journal um, but these washi tapes always make um, sort of fabulous journaling aids or uh, sort of journaling decorations but of course they're fabulous for wrapping your gifts and everything as well. 
well. Um, so I've got three tapes from the collection and I've just stuck um, a little bit of each tape onto a white background to make it easier to show you. Um, so, so far I've got the sheeps in sweaters, the penguins in pullovers and the stitched birds washi tapes. sheep and the penguins are 20 millimeters two centimeters and the stitch birds is a little bit narrower it's 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters and you get 10 meters um, on each roll they come out to you uh, like this they're on a nice sort of presentation card i'm really excited about those washi tapes but then um you know stationery and journaling is also one of my loves if you follow the channel for a while you'll know that um, already so <laughs> Um, I hope you all enjoy the washi tape too and like I said if it does prove to be popular then I will definitely look at bringing some of the other tapes from the range into stock too. Um, and then also I have some new stitch markers and from Emma Ball as well. I've got um, some new design ones which are the kittens in mittens <laughs> super cute. There are three designs you get two of each design so I'm just going to try and hold it up so you can see okay um that really does not want to focus on that um it's shining from the light from the window above and it's finding it difficult to focus on those so i'll pop in a picture of the kittens in mittens set here um also so i'll pop pictures in for each of these um emma ball have just started to release their markers with the lobster claw rather than the ring um so the markers that i've had so far have been uh, sort of the ring markers that fit on a knitting needle but they also have the lobster clasp fixings now starting to come through on a lot of their stitch marker sets um, so i've got a couple of sets with the lobster claw so i'll pop pictures of those up on the screen now as well so that's everything that i wanted to chat to you about in this video i've got so many plans for upcoming things um, i've got some new subscription boxes coming um, i'm hoping to launch some more fiber into the shop soon as well um, yeah i've got so many ideas and plans it's just having the time as a one woman business <laughs> having the time to get all these things together um there were a few things like fiber wise that i wanted to launch at the end of last year and then i was just sick through to december and some of november and it just didn't happen and i feel like so far in january i've been on a little bit of catch up and i've still got some messages outstanding that i need to reply to and lots of things on my to-do list it's never ending um so <laughs> i will catch up with myself someday soon i hope <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just to say, if there's nothing that has grabbed your fancy in today's shop talk, um, then please do come back for the next one because I have lots of exciting new things on the way. If you have stuck with me um, throughout this video, then I do really appreciate your interest. I'm very grateful for all of your support for helping me to keep things going at Yarn and Yarns. Um, whether you purchase anything from the website or whether you share my posts over on Instagram or Facebook, um, I am super grateful for all of that help and support. I will be back again soon um, to share some more making content here on the channel. Um, so I hope you will join me for the next video. But until we do get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now. <laughs>